G'day, I'm Anna and welcome to Craft Time this week. I'm sitting here in the beautiful Australian bush. That's what we're celebrating this week and we're going to do some Australian animal and bush craft. So let's check out what's in the craft basket, shall we? Tap, 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 one, two, three. Open the craft basket and what can we see? Woo, all right. Well, we've got some Australian bush items. Here we go. I've been collecting these. You might like to go out in the garden um, and collect some things from nature. I've got some gum leaves. Coco the koala would love to eat these. I've also got some bark. Yeah. What else? Some more gum leaves. And some more bark. <laughs> Here we go. This one's come off a tree. And some pretty bush flowers. Here we go. These ones are flowering. Beautiful, huh? So it looks like we've also got some paper. Pop these on my tray. Some green paper. All right. I reckon we could stick with sticky tape our items from the bush on the paper and make a bit of a collage. But I've also, there's something else really exciting in here. And I'm sure you'll be able to find some of these at home if you haven't already. Well, I've got my crayons, I'm sure you can find those at home. But what I'm really interested in for this activity are coins, our Australian coins. I've got a five cent piece here. It's a tiny little silver one. And on the back, it's pretty intriguing because on all the Australian coins here, we've got um, a figure of an Australian animal or icon on the coin. So on the five cent coin, there's an echidna, a spiky echidna. On the 10 cent coin, here we go, I've got a 10 cent coin. This has a lyre bird. I might get up a bit closer so you can see. Although hopefully you've got um, some coins at home because we're going to be able to trace these onto our items, on, onto our paper. So hopefully that's in focus there. There we go. The 10 cent coin has the lyre bird on it. I've got a 20 cent piece or a 20 cent coin in here. This one has a platypus swimming on it. Hopefully that'll go into focus. There you go. And a 50 cent coin. Oh, this is, these are big, these ones. I've always loved these ones. And they've got straight sides around them, but, or edges rather. Let's get in focus here. There we go. This is the coat of arms. It has a big red kangaroo on it and an emu. All right, there's also some wattle in there. We looked at wattle today on Playtime with Anna. If you haven't logged onto that yet, that's fun. You can find Playtime with Anna on your Instagram and Facebook pages for the shopping center. Okay, now we get into the goldies, <laughs> the gold coins. This is a $1 coin. Just wait for the camera to focus. There we go. And there's a whole load of kangaroos jump, jump, jumping around on the $1 coin. And then the other coin, this is the $2 coin. Now this has a beautiful um, archetype representation of an Aboriginal elder on it. And this is, let's get in focus. There we are, the $2 coin. Great, huh? All right, so five, 10, 20, $1. And where's my five cent coin gone? It's on my tray, <laughs> ready to trace. So what we're going to do today, now that's all we need. Oh, and some glue. We've got some glue for our craft activity. All right, so hopefully you've got your coins as well. We're gonna get our piece of paper. Well, no, we'll start with our coins and we're gonna lay our coins on a hard surface. So I'm using a tray, because I'm on a, <laughs> the bush ground here. It's not very, um, very flat. So find a flat surface, pop your coins on the surface with the animal or the Aboriginal elder face up so you can see the animals. All right, so we'll pop them on the tray. Then we're going to get our piece of paper and put it over the coins. Grab your favorite color crayon. Mm, I think I'll use orange. So pop your paper over the coins Secure the coin so it doesn't move. Now, I don't know, you might like to put blue tack on the coin so it's actually stuck 
down on the surface because what we're going to do is colour over the coin. I'll show you what I mean. So I've popped the piece of paper over my coin. I'm going to start with my five cent coin. Pop it over the coin, hold it in place and colour over in a backward forward motion. Now my coin actually just moved so this has gone a bit blurry. I'm going to try again. So hold the coin in place under the paper and then colour over the coin. Again if you're finding it hard to keep the coin in place maybe get mum or dad to find some blue tack, stick the coin down on the flat surface and then oh, give it a go. So this is what I've created here. Can you see the number five on there and an echidna? Great huh? This is where it went a bit blurry because the coin moved underneath it but this one it's more clear. So I'm going to continue that with my 10 cent coin. You can change colours of the crayon if you like or stick with the same colour. 10. This one has a big number 10 on it. Let's see. Woo! I just put a little bit of a hole in the paper and that's okay. So again my coin moved so I'm going to have to secure it. I'm going to have to hold it a bit tighter when I when I colour over it. I don't have blue tack with me because I'm uh, in the bush. <laughs> Maybe I could find some sticky sap off a tree. All right I've done my number 10 on my 10 cent coin. Now the 10 cent coin has a lyre bird on it and the lyre bird is a fascinating bird because it can actually mimic sounds in the bush or wherever it is. Um, sounds yeah so it can mimic other birds, it can mimic other animals, might even be able to mimic humans. So that's the lyre bird and um, its tail on the male lyre birds they fan out in a beautiful tail. Okay so now I'm up to the 20 cent coin. This one has a platypus on it. Have you guys ever seen a platypus? I have and it was really exciting. Um, in a dam in Northern Australia and oh it has like a, um, a duck bill, sort of beak um, and a, it's got fur on it. It lives in the water, uh, it's got a beaver like tail on it, it swims, it can hold its breath for up to 30 seconds and forage while it's foraging under the water for its food. And then they dig tunnels in the banks of the rivers that's where they lay their eggs for their babies. All right, so 20 cent coin. Here we go. This one has the platypus on it, swimming around. The next one for me is the 50 cent piece. Now this isn't round. This has got how many edges? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve edges on the 50 cent coin. I didn't know that actually. That was good to count it. Did you know that it had 12 edges? Okay, so colouring back and forth might take you a little bit of practice to get this skill and that's okay. It's taken me a bit of practice. And I first did this exercise when I was about your age. In primary school I remember. Well actually that was a bit older than probably your age. <laughs> but I like to extend you guys. I think you could do this definitely. So the 50 cent piece. This one has the coat of arms on it which includes the kangaroo and the emu. Okay ready for one dollar coin. Do you know what I actually found in my cupboard the other day? Um, a one cent coin. Now you've probably never seen a one cent coin or maybe you didn't even know one cent coins existed because they went they stopped being gosh they stopped being made when oh I was young I cannot remember the year but anyway if you come across a one or a two cent piece they're a bit antique these days <laughs> and they're bronze colors bronze color we used to go to the shop when I was little and buy lollies for one and two cents all right so I've done my one dollar coin and now my two dollar coin now this is a smaller one the two dollar coin 
again, I've got to hold it in place. Wow, I just had a mosquito land on my on my hand. Another sign that you're out and about in the Australian bush. <laughs> okay, now my poor old two dollar coin moved a little bit. I think with our friendly mosquitoes flying around. So I'm just going to do that again. And in fact, you could do lots and lots and lots of different coins in lots of different colours. There we go, that's a better two dollar coin. Oh, it's even got stars on this one. It's like the Southern Cross. Great. So I've got my two dollar coin down here and my one dollar coin here. Cool, huh? We might be able to cut them out and um, play shops with the money. Or we could keep creating our collage. So what I'm going to do now is grab these beautiful pieces of bush that I've found out and about in my exploration of the bush. I'll put some gum leaves on. Oh, where's my stick? I do have sticky tape in my craft basket. Great. All right, stick some sticky tape on. Onto the lovely leaves. I wonder what pieces of nature you found out and about. You might have gone on a bushwalk to find your nature, or you might be able to go out on a bushwalk this afternoon or today sometime. There we go. And oh, some pretty wildflowers. And I think some more bark for mine. Feeling pretty crafty with my bark today. And one more flower. So pretty, these have little flowers on them. There we go. Okay, I think I'm done. We have Australian animals, Australian bush and Australian coins all in the one collage. So I hope you enjoyed exploring Australian um, animals and things today out and about in the bush. If you haven't already logged on to Playtime, I look forward to seeing you there. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Stay safe, take care, goodbye.